sun's going down and I'm making the two kilometer drive to the gym. So if it's, this is the last video that you see, then thanks to everyone for subscribing so far. I really appreciate your support over the last few years. I know some of you have probably only been subscribed uh, for the last few months, but yeah, I'm not gonna get emotional, but it was, it was nice to know. Anyway, I may, I may see you soon. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So where's that tonight? Empty gym. Okay, ready for round two. I've just soldered round one. Oh. Lovely. I'm gonna try and do a what's in the bag. So we're teeing off today at 1.20, um, which is an hour's time. Steve usually likes 45 minutes before um, he plays to get warmed up, to hit a few balls, hit some putts. Yesterday's tee off was in the morning, early. Today, obviously a bit later in the afternoon, winds up, forecast, possible storms, which is quite common over here. Um, but hopefully it stays dry, otherwise it's going to be a, a very early start tomorrow to, uh, to make up round two. Let's hope he goes out and just continues to do what he's doing, playing really solid, played so well yesterday uh, and we'll get in with a recap and uh, what's in the bag. Yeah, we probably need that as well. Right, we're just trying to do a what's in the bag for you, the lightning is so bad. Um, right, we're gonna try and get what's in the bag film now um, as part of this vlog. So we might just do a little tournament recap as well. It's all going off. I don't sure they work. Yes, you have to plug them in, I think. So the light in this room is lighting up the hallway. And- uh, Should I get by the door? Yeah, you could do. Actually, to be fair, the lightning would probably be right over there. Under the main light. Oh, it's like, a, it's like a Sky Sports studio, mate. It's proper, isn't it? Yeah, proper job. Right, so round three done at this point. So hopefully this video is going to be up sort of, well, probably just after round four finishes, so tomorrow. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's going well. Yeah, it's going all right. Yeah, decent day today. Yeah, played really a well. Slow day on the greens, well, yesterday and this morning, but... Yeah. Made up for it this afternoon. It's got it rolling, didn't you? And then once you got it rolling, you didn't really miss much though, did you at all? No. Miss anything? No. No, I was uh, not quite as good as day one with the putter, but yeah, it's nice to have a chance of a decent week and see how we get on tomorrow. Yeah, so nine under at the moment, which is like tied eight or something, isn't it? Yeah. So another solid day tomorrow. We played in the rain today. We have the full, pretty much all day. The full kit in there, waterproofs, and I never thought you'd have to do that in Johannesburg. Yeah. So uh, we just, well, yeah, we got back, been sleeping for like an hour, been playing a bit of catch up. My whoop's going mad, saying I need like three days and twelve hours sleep to catch up. For yeah, the last you're, not, you're not the best sleeper, are you? No. Early mornings. Got four hours last night, and uh, yeah, played. It's not good when I have to get you out of bed. Because I'm not good at early mornings. No. At least tomorrow we'll be fine. So we're teeing off what, 11 o'clock? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we can have a bit of a chill out in the morning. Yeah, nice little lion. Um, but they, a lot of people want to see this what's in the bag. Like, what's in the bags are big. Like, loads of people love them. Yeah. So. I've watched a few in my time. And you have? Are you yeah, a bit I don't mind a what's in the bag. I'm a bit of a golf <laughs> club pervert. So. Okay. Right, so this is for all the golf pervs out there. Oh, and forgot to say, just hit 50k subs as well. So. That's a big one. Nah, no, it's good. I'll probably do a little video on that at some point. Um, but yeah, for the time being, let's get into this awesome bag. Apologies, that this is so like lackluster and no, no energy, but we're completely. F let's uh, let's go through it. Uh, so, where do you want to start? Let's start with what should we do? Start with wedges and work yeah. way up. Uh, so we carry four wedges, all SM8. Um, I go 46, 52, 56, and 60. A 
and such a bit of a for the golf club pervert because that's a prototype they might get a bit Ooh, excited yeah better zoom in on that I'll get some b-roll that in a minute as well so you brought like three wedges of you this week 360 uh, degrees yeah I bought in the two end. and then got another one when I was here um, I sort of usually use a different lob wedge um, but it's quite dry this week and the wedge I use is quite a lot of well not much banks but quite a fat sole mm -hmm. and there's not much sand in the bunkers so I changed the one that's got a bit less bounce which I don't use very often but I sort of travel with quite a lot because it's quite handy just give you more options really rather yeah. than um, sort of panicking around the greens at least you've got a club you can use and I think quite a lot of guys will well I suppose it's a bit different in your people where you have equipment manufacturers there more often if you want to change you can change your wedge a bit easier than yeah obviously we we have guys at tournaments but you'd normally have to order the week before if you wanted a different yeah. wedge or a new wedge so the bounce is just dependent on conditions each week so yeah. if it's sitting up on the kukuya or if it's tight you just play different bounce options basically yeah uh and then i use four to nine iron if i've not snapped it in the T100s. Yeah, we had a bit of a mare. Trying to play a little punch shot in round, was that round one? Round one, yeah, and snapped my nine iron. But luckily they uh, got a replacement ready for the next day, so thank you to the guys for that. So we've got the... Uh, T100, and I play one degree upright and one degree strong, because I tend to sort of pop my irons up in the air a bit, so... And shaft? Uh, these are... Uh, Nippon Modus Modus Tour 125 uh, S Flex. Is that quite readily available then? That shaft option, or is that um, like special? They order? do a lot of different options, yeah. But as I found out this week, they not many guys tend to play that shaft out here. So I couldn't get the same shaft in my 9 iron, so I had to use the same shaft as what I use in my wedges, which I think is just a little bit softer. Yeah, which is what? Just for the pervs. Like this that. is a NS Pro WV125 Tour only. Careful, you'll, uh, so, you'll get them excited, mate. I'm not quite sure <laughs> what that means, but I've used it for <laughs> the last two years, three years. Does the job. Then the old trusty. Uh, the club um, you don't like, but it's probably your best club in the bag. Yeah, no, this has to cover a lot of ground for me because I'm going between sort of a four iron then a three would have a big gap so I use a 20 degree Callaway Apex hybrid that I sort of can cover quite a lot of yardage with that from doing a bit of shape and that's yep. got a 10C90 hybrid Tor X flex shaft Beautiful. which I think we had that about a year um, now I just got these before I come out here, which is a new TSI 3, 3 wood, um, 15 degree, but I'm playing it with a bit more loft this week to help sort of get it airborne really, at altitude, because yeah. the ball tends to dip out the air. Uh, and that's got a Tor AD DI7X shaft, that Know, the black one. I think it's exactly <laughs> the same as the orange. I think they do an orange and silver one. Yep. Um, but for some reason it's black. And then the new, the new. Uh, I just show you put the fruit and driver in together recently, have you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I struggled a little bit with the three wood, so I had a fit in with Titus last week, and he just tweaked around with the settings. Yeah, yeah. You've flying it, been flying um, well actually. Which yeah, it's a lot better than what it was before. Right, the big dog. The wow, semi big dog for me. There's a TSI three, uh, again the new type. This one. Yep. And then this shaft I've used for a while. Tor AD MJ six X, um, which I think is quite an old shaft, and I don't think this is particularly popular. I think it's quite soft. Right. Okay. But I've used it in my last three or four drivers. It's going well, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's been great. When you get one, it's um. I so did, did the same with that. I sort of lofted it up 
this week from nine to I think it's like nine point seven five to try and get a bit more flight. Yeah, so planet altitude. What's the what's the science behind that then? Uh, well, the air's thinner, which obviously makes the ball less resistance, travels further. But if you don't spin it enough, it doesn't generate enough resistance to stay in the air. So if I was using <coughs> Say if I used that lofted down in England if it's windy, if I used it here, it just wouldn't spin enough, it'd yeah. nose dive out the air. So optimum you'd be spinning it, what, like 2-2 two, two at home and here you're looking for? Yeah, that's sort of, yeah, I'd go from like 2-2 two, two and I'm probably spinning that at like 2-7, two, 2-8. Two, yeah. Um, which is quite a big, I don't know, what's that, 20% more? Yeah, it's yeah. weird seeing balls, even like into wind, balls that look like they're hanging. Yeah. and they're going up they look like they're floating and yeah, going nowhere but they're going forward but they still go near enough the same distance yeah uh, and then the putter is a stroke lab number seven which i've used this head shape for quite a long time and uh, it's got a straight straight lab shaft but i've got a bit of a different insert i asked for the sort of old white hot insert oh, yeah. rather than the i think well, what's it meant to be a micro hinge is that like slightly softer? That white hot or is it not? Uh, I find it a little bit firmer than okay. the white hinge and I just used it <laughs> ages ago and quite liked it so I sort of asked for the same insert in it which is, they sort of did which is quite nice of them. Yeah. And um, then, well the bag itself, got to go into that. Better plug this as well. Cumberwell Park, represent and Sterling James Wolf Management? Yeah, no, uh, sort of Campbell have been great to me over the years, so. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I've been up there since I was 13, so. They've put up with a lot from me. <laughs> uh, and then today we just had. Yeah, we had a heavy bag today. Got My carps are in bits. There it is. Which you actually took off after wearing it yeah, dinner yet last night. I wore it home last night, wore it to yeah. bed. Um, I just got the waterproofs which we actually needed today. So yep. we can take those out for tomorrow. Uh, banana, bushnel for the practice rounds. Uh, some energy bars. Yeah, you're loving those, aren't you? Yeah, need to stock up on those. Uh, we've got a load of gloves, topless player's glove. And then balls, and so you've switched balls as well. A yeah. bit more spin. Yeah, I normally use a Pro V1, and then I switch to the Pro V1X. Because um, I don't think I spin these irons. I've only had these irons since April, and I don't think I spin them quite as much as my old ones. Right. So I was getting a few flyers. It's basically not enough spin on the ball yeah. with the Pro V1, so I switched to the Pro V1X to just spin it fractionally more, and it seems to uh, be doing the job. Yeah. Um, doing the yeah, job this week, mate. And then the umbrella that we needed today as well. Yeah, that a lot. handy. That was yeah. pretty much out all day. There's a few training aids, putting things in here somewhere. Yeah, they like that. Just to make you carry around. Sun cream. Always carry a grip in case. I need to regrip the grip somewhere. Gloves. I just use like the Dave Pell's putting tutor. Uh, that's basically two balls. You just put that down and put two balls on there and then put through the gates. Yep. And use that like every few weeks or so just to get your. Yeah, I'll try to score. I like to have it. So if I'm not putting well, I've got something that I can set up quickly and use. And yeah. I don't, I don't really use it religiously. And then. I don't know where the other thing's going. There's meant to be a Vizio one in there somewhere. Might be in the car. But yeah, they're the main two. Sort of the putting mat with the line. Yeah. Line on for your arc and then your face. They're the main sort of two that I travel with and use most of the time in practice. And then I've got another little bag of full swing training aids that I use. So yeah, make you carry around this lot. Yeah. At least we'll have the waterproof sack tomorrow. So it'll be a bit lighter for you. A bit lighter. Better finish off the vlog. So it's, yeah, this seems a bit unenergetic, doesn't it now? But we just had a massive load of sushi and uh, we're both not really living off 
not really working off too much sleep at the moment. Both a bit knackered after the last few days, but yeah, lying tomorrow. And the final round, hopefully finish strong. Um, I'm sure you will. Been, ri been ripping it this week. Yeah, striking's been, been a joke. Good, so if we can keep that up, then we should do all right. Yeah. So through like the tournament rounds, it's a bit hard, obviously, to film content just because you know we're focusing on playing. Um, it's you know you can't spend too much time making videos on the side and videos on the side. I'm trying to like do what I can in like the tournament week, Thursday to Sunday, especially when there's like rain delays and that's taken up like quite a lot of the day. But next week from Monday to tournament start Thursday, we'll be in Leopard Creek. So already planning lots of content. One of them being, so Wilco Nineba, is that how you pronounce it? I think that's about right. Is, is the guy that, if you've watched the European tour coverage, you would have seen him like everywhere he Every rips shot. it so he's like 195 ball speed on golf course he's an absolute joke so we've got him hopefully and what's the other lad called the big lad uh, james dupree james dupree is like he looks like six foot ten and like 110 kilos he's massive and he's saying he's got a ball speed to 212 him um wilco and maybe one or two others and try and get a long drive competition <coughs> sorted on the range because the range next week's really good, massive range and decent practice facilities. Yeah. So that amongst just general like travelling and showing the practice rounds again and then is Laurie Cantor and uh, hopefully might be playing with Laurie, yeah. I need to confirm with him what time because at the minute you've got book times but you can't see who you're playing with. Yeah. Um so yeah, hopefully gonna play with Cantor and maybe Eddie Pepperell. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I've got to confirm that, yeah. Yeah, cool. Right, oh, right, so that's it. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I um, appreciate this has been a bit less production today, no on-course footage, but I'm sure you can understand why. Um, thanks to everyone for subscribing recently, hit 50K, which is massive. Um, something we've been aiming towards for a long time. Um, and it is, yeah, proper happy about that. So onwards to 100k now. I know you, you lot are enjoying the video so far, and it's only going to get better. Like the next two resorts are literally a joke. So the content is going to be very good. Lots of practice round footage, um, bits with other European tour players, and then tournament recaps. Hopefully, some more positive news. Hopefully so. Right. See you soon. See you on the next one, which will be traveling probably probably do a round four recap and then on the Why way to take them on safari leopard creek yeah we got so yeah i'm pretty sure if you watch this channel you know i like the wildlife right um so the david amber is going to come out quite a bit next week <laughs> i'll be on the camera for six hours around creek apart <laughs> right see you soon